10 Age of Mythology Tips Part 3 How to Speedwalk Speedwalking is when a unit can go above their maximum speed for a short period of time. This technique utilises the formation mechanic, where units ignore their speed so they can get into their position in the formation quickly. The most consistent way I've found to speedwalk is have two units spread apart from each other. The first unit is the unit you want to speedwalk, the second unit should be faster and move slightly away. Select both units, or both groups of units, and move just past the opposite side of the second group of units. This should cause the first unit to try and catch up with the second group, like it's trying to get in formation. This is best used for getting slow units out of danger, like villagers, priests, or slow myth units. This does take some practice, so give it a try. Frost Giants are just OP. Frost Giants are easily the best Heroic Age Myth unit in the game. The best use is to counter any big unit from your opponent. If you have the same amount of Frost Giants as they do big units, then you just straight up win the fight. The Frost Giant's special ability recharges before the freeze ends. As long as your Frost Giant stays alive, you can easily kill single units. These guys are just broken. Hades and Poseidon Favour Trick When playing Hades or Poseidon, you start with zero favour, which means you can't afford your classical age hero. The best thing to do is just gather the two favour that you need, and then task your villager onto something more important. Unless you're against a civilization like Zeus, that can bolt your hero, then get four favour to rebuild it right away. Using the Valor God Power the god power Valor for the Atlanteans can be used on three human units and one citizen. Using it without human units around does not give you extra citizens, and vice versa. The Valor targeter might seem random, but it prioritises moving units. The best way to get your preferred heroes is to move the units you wish to convert to heroes just before you use the god power. This will convert the right units every time. Manners as manners can be garrisoned inside, they're very important to the safety of your citizens. Building manners on your hunt spots and gold mines is the best way to keep your villagers safe. Once you've maxed out at 5 manners, you can time shift your mana if you're Kronos, or if you're Aranos or Gaia, just delete it and build it in the new spot. Heliopoli Garrison Did you know you can garrison units inside your Heliopoli to raise its attack, both pierce and crush damage? Just something to keep in mind in your next siege attack. Free age up buildings with Egyptian. Egyptian armories and markets are both free, but take a long time to build. As they're free and you need them to get up to the next age, the best thing to do is get one villager working on it as soon as you age up. This will stop you putting 20 villagers and a pharaoh on your market to get to the mythic age. Kronos Scouting. Kronos has access to the focus technology, which increases the speed of your oracle scouts. Make sure to send your first villager to start gathering wood so you can afford it early. It's best researched just after hunting dogs, and it even increases the special line of sight ability of your oracles. Overshooting animals. Villagers have a chance to miss their shot on an animal, this can push it far away from the granary. One way to reduce the likelihood of this happening is to overshoot by one villager. This deer takes two shots to go down, so you can use three villagers to make sure it goes down even if one misses. Wonders. If you're playing Egyptian, and your opponent isn't, and they start building a wonder, you'll probably be able to overtake them, and build your wonder first, thanks to the pharaoh. Seems a bit broken. Quick tips part 1 and 2 are on the screen. Sub for more Age Mythology content.